Rock, Paper, Scissors by John Fraser. A man awakes in an inn that leads to a mysterious conundrum he's keen to understand. Open on black, interior, in, room, day. Simon, 30s, slim build, smart suit, is lying on his back on the floor with his eyes closed. He has a mobile phone beside him held loosely in his hands. Interior, in room, day. Ed, 40s, stocky build, jacket and boots, is standing over Simon. Ed puts one hand on one of Simon's shoulders and shakes him in a short, vigorous way. Ed looks concerned and slightly quizzical. Oh, Jesus. What happened? Simon seems bemused and looks around the room, propped up on one arm. He gradually stands up and straightens out his clothes. Simon observes one person sitting in a room near the bar. There are other tables and chairs that are empty. We can see at the back of the room that there is a door opening into a room that emanates a bright light. Interior, bar area, day. Simon is standing behind a woman ordering some drinks at the bar. Before anything further happens, the woman plays rock, paper, scissors with the barman in silence and each time the barman wins. She does this three times in total. We can then see the barman lift a bottle that is completely empty and pour the emptiness into an empty glass while making the noise of liquid coming out of the bottle. Simon looks bemused as the barman moves to a cocktail shaker, fills it with two bottles containing nothing, uses the tongs from an ice bucket to lift two blocks of nothing and put it into the shaker. The barman shakes the shaker over his shoulders. Chugga, 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 chugga. And then carefully pours the zero contents into a cocktail glass. He lifts his fingers as if to point upwards and remind himself and places an empty cocktail stick over the edge of the glass. He then goes to one of the beer taps and pulls on the tap as he fills a tall glass of beer, making the noise of the beer going into the glass. Finally, we see the barman carefully place the glass on a tray that is sitting on the bar counter and slide it across to the woman. Simon watches as the woman goes back to her table where the other person is sitting. Three drinks between two, as in the number of rock, paper, scissors games that she played. Interior, bar counter, day. Simon walks up to the bar and opens his mouth to speak. The barman puts his fingers to his lips. Shh. The barman demonstrates to Simon, rock, paper, scissors. Simon plays along. Both men put one hand behind their backs and the barman nods. Simon pulls his hand, his hand round and it is curled in a ball, stone. At the same time, the barman returns a paper shape with his hand. He nods at Simon and smiles. Then he walks over to the beer tap and fills up an empty beer glass with nothing, making the same noise as before. <laughs> Interior, in room, and bar, day. The barman places the tall, empty glass on the bar counter and slides it across to Simon. Simon looks across the bar, sitting area, bar sitting area as the brightly lit room door opens. Interior, in bar area, and entrance. Simon looks puzzled and concerned. He scans the room again and then at the barman before turning and walking towards the entrance door. Interior, in door, day. Simon tries the entrance door, but it is locked. He tries to turn the handle and he shakes the door briskly, but nothing happens. He bangs on the door a couple of times and still nothing of any response. Interior, in room and bar, day. Simon runs towards the bar where he sees the barman is on the phone at the back of the bar, not speaking, but listening on the phone. Simon bangs his fist on the bar counter and the barman turns to face him, still on the phone. The barman holds his hand up like a stop signal. Just the flat of his hand pointed towards Simon. Simon looks at the barman and makes that symbol of scissors. The barman looks horrified, looks at his hands, then at Simon, and realizes that Simon has beaten him, cut to black. Interior, in room, day. Simon is lying on his back on the floor with his eyes closed. He is in the same place as before and has a mobile phone beside him loosely in his hand. Interior, in room, day. Ed is standing over Simon. He puts one hand on one of Simon's shoulders and shakes him in a sort of vigorous way. Ed looks even more concerned than before and slightly frantic. What's happening to me? Simon seems bemused and looks around the room, propped up on one arm. He gradually stands up and straightens out his clothes. Simon observes one person sitting in a room near the bar. 
there are other tables and chairs that are empty. We can see at the back of the room that there is a door opening into a room that emanates a bright light. A woman, looking quite radiant, comes out and walks to the occupied table and ushers those seated into the brightly lit room. There is a lot of chatter and light coming from that room. Simon holds out his hand and moves towards the woman as if beckoning her. From almost no people in the bar area, there now appears to be a throng, all working their way either across the room to the barman or to the brightly lit room. Interior, in. Brightly lit room entrance, day. Simon is standing at the foot of a flight of stairs. The woman he has been beckoning to is ascending the stairs, and there are other people coming down and others gently pushing past Simon to make their way up the stairs. The woman smiles to someone on the stairwell turns on the landing, and keeps making her way upward. Interior, in, brightly lit staircase, day. Simon keeps climbing and reaches out to touch the woman's shoulder. She turns, looks directly at Simon, and screams, cut to black. Exterior, a modern city street in fading light with rain falling. Simon is sprawled on the road, close to the bumper and bonnet of a car. His mobile phone is beside him, on the ground, bloodied with a bright screen. Simon's eyes are open and staring straight ahead. There is a small stream of blood from the side of his mouth. He is smiling. People are circled around the body. Ed is dressed in a paramedic outfit and is shining a torchlight in Simon's eyes. The barman character and driver of the car is seen arguing with another person and gesticulating towards Simon. A siren can be heard even ever closer in the distance. Simon's mobile phone starts to ring. There is an image on the screen of the woman who was ascending the stairs. Fade to black. End. <laughs>